the world's first flying scooter quadcopter Skyrider X1 created by Rector is said to combine ground and aerial mobility into a single compact device. The quadcopter can achieve 214 km per hour and 100 km per hour in the air and on the ground respectively. The X1 also offers 40 minutes of flight time on a single charge. Users can enjoy hands-free flying due to its autonomous navigation system that allows for route planning, obstacle avoidance, automatic takeoff, and landing. Safety is a core focus, featuring an emergency parachute in the case of system failure and a motor system redundancy for stable flight. Its lightweight and portable design, as well as intuitive user controls, makes the foldable propeller structure suitable for both novice and experienced users. Aiming for tech enthusiasts and city commuters, the quadcopter is sold at $60,000. The early reviews praise the versatility of the device, but they also highlight the limits in payload capacity and noise, 85 decibels at 10 meters. In future models, Rector plans to mute the noise with quieter motors and better battery technology. The Swedish company Jetson AB has gained worldwide notoriety for the Jetson 1, a compact, single-seat EVTOL that is being marketed as a flying motorcycle for personal transportation. The vehicle weighs just 115 kg, thanks to its lightweight aluminum frame that utilizes carbon fiber parts and has a cruising flight speed of 102 km per hour for a duration of 20 minutes. The Jetson 1 can be flown using a four-axis joystick and does not require formal flight certification in the US as it is classified under FAA's Part 103 ultralight vehicle. The aircraft features eight electric motors that provide redundant thrust, allowing safe landings even when multiple motors malfunction. Users' cabin onboarding time is said to be less than five minutes, making the vehicle's demand skyrocket. The Jetson 1's market cost is $92,000, with a reservation deposit of $22,000. Due to these prices, the vehicle mostly caters to affluent enthusiasts and short-distance commuters, but also has the capability to be used for recreational flights. Jetson places a strong emphasis on safety issues and equips the aircraft with obstacle detection sensors, a ballistic parachute, and geofencing that disables flights near airport. Critics mention battery longevity being a problem, as well as a lack of required pilot training, but the company has proved over 10,000 incident-free test flights. Developed by US-based RISE Aero Technologies, the RISE Recon is a state-of-the-art personal EVTOL designed to streamline transportation in areas such as agriculture, ranching, and other transportationally challenging industries. Weighing below 136 kilograms, it is classified as an ultralight by the FAA's Part 103 guidelines, which negates the requirement of a pilot's license. Consequently, this propeller plane is affordable and operational for most farmers, ranchers, and surveyors who depend on effective travel over difficult landscapes. The Recon possesses a six-motor propulsion system for VTL. It can operate at a maximum altitude of 120 meters and a max speed of 101 km per hour. Its single charge range of 40 km is adequate for most agricultural tasks, while interchangeable batteries supply increased operational readiness. Minimal training is required to operate the aircraft thanks to the AI automation. Users with no prior experience can master basic flight within a few hours. Eyes ensure safety through redundant motor systems, obstacle avoidance sensors, and fail-safe parachute design. Recon is priced at $150,000, making it economical for professionals seeking to enhance productivity in crop monitoring, livestock herding, or fence inspections. The suspended monorail trains in Japan serve as one of its unique forms of travel as they can be compared to a train that has been turned upside down. These locomotives move under the rail, forming the shape of a railway underneath it which has proven useful in both public transportation and tourism. The major distinction from standard monorails is that the cabins are positioned below the rail instead of above it, which creates a captivating view and allows for easier transportation of passengers in highly developed areas. In comparison to conventional monorails, Hanging monorails possess a distinctive structural advantage that is the support of a large urbanized city. The more populated the city is, the better for its infrastructure or its economy. These types of trains are also typically able to operate at 60 to 80 km per hour, but some high-speed designs can go as fast as 100 km per hour. The amount of passengers that can travel in the train also depends on the model and can have a maximum capacity of 300 people. Monorails of this type are considered to be safe even in regions vulnerable to earthquakes because of the special shock-absorbing system that protects them from tremors. French specialists from the company Lazarus have built a pioneering prototype of a next-generation flying motorcycle, 
Moto Volante. It is officially labeled as Lazarus LMV 496. Its one-of-a-kind hybrid form considers neither a flying drone nor a motorcycle, but with the capability of both. At first glance, it appears to be a motorcycle looking, albeit futuristic. But once the four compact jet turbines positioned on its four wheels are activated, it takes the shape of a hovering aircraft that can soar like elements of sci-fi fiction. With a weight of 130 kilogram, the LMV-496 is able to fly because of the turbines that provide a thrust of 1,300 newtons each, which allows for vertical takeoffs and stable hover. To switch from road mode to air mode, the rider has to control a working interface that pivots the turbines vertically and elevates the vehicle up to 90 centimeters above the surface. When on motorcycle mode, LMV-496 achieves speeds of 130 km per hour. But with current capabilities, flying is limited to low altitudes, which is a safety measure during testing. The Xpeng X3 is a dual-mode flying car prototype recently launched by Xpeng Aero HT. As any road vehicle, this 1,936-kilogram 1 car utilizes an eight-rotor system for vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, and transitions seamlessly between driving and flying. While the rotors are not in use, the car operates as a compact electric vehicle that can cover a range of 150 kilometers on land. The quad rotor system is powered by a 400-volt, 160-kilowatt battery and can be propelled forward by its hybrid steering wheel flight stick combo at a speed of 130 kilometers per hour. Thus, allowing this car to remain in a flyable state for almost 35 minutes or enough time to travel around urban and suburban areas. The ground chassis is designed to inductively charge the upper fuselage, allowing the vehicle to recharge its flight module chassis rapidly. With its two-person seated cabin and 270-degree AR glass canopy, direction and altitude data is provided to the occupants enabling seamless navigation. In addition, inventions like triple redundant flight controllers paired with real-time rotors health monitoring make this car unique. After conducting over 500 test flights, Xpeng was able to refine stability in crosswinds and emergency protocols. The Dutch company, PALV, has entered the world of mobility with the Liberty, the world's first commercially available hybrid car gyrocopter. The Liberty can travel 160 km per hour on the highway and 180 km per hour in the air. With an impressive 1,300 km driving range and 500 km aerial range, switching between modes only takes 5 minutes. The vehicle is powered by a 230 horsepower gasoline engine, allowing it to comply with current road and air regulations minimizing the certification issues faced by electric VTOLs. PALV is completing the last steps to get European Union Aviation Safety Agency EASA, approval, with plans to start deliveries in late 2024. The Liberty caters to well-off adventurers and emergency responders, charging between 300,000 pounds to 800,000 pounds while providing unmatched flexibility in areas with scarce infrastructure. The vehicle's design as a gyrocopter allows for safer auto-rotation landings compared to helicopters when the engine fails, and is considered a major advantage. The two-seat cabin contains aviation-grade instruments alongside a simplified dual control system for more intuitive road air transitions. The 216S Autonomous Aerial Vehicle made by Ehang is a true contender in the competition of urban air mobility. It combines drone technology with passenger transport. As an electric drone taxi, the 216S has two seats, powered with a 21.6 kilowatt hour lithium battery that helps the drone achieve a maximum speed of 130 km per hour with an altitude of 3,000 meters. However, aerial operations above urban regions will remain below 500 meters for safety protocols. Passengers do not need to spend any effort as the AI autonomously plans the best route for desired destinations through an intuitive touchscreen. Ehang's test and training have ranged over more than 3,000 trial flights alongside hundreds of passengers throughout major European cities like Vienna and Chinese cities like Guangzhou. The drone taxi is able to connect with the public transportation systems, from which we see the integration features fitting into existing transport hubs. Ehang boasts a quiet 60 decibel noise level at a distance of 50 meters to the 216S, making it even quieter than city helicopters. Ehang plans to strategically place these drone taxis in places of high population density. The K-Racer X1 from Japan's Kawasaki combines vertical takeoff and landing VTOL capabilities. Kawasaki has designed these VTOL aircraft with a 1,000cc supercharged engine lifted off their Ninja H2R motorcycle. Aided by four tilting rotors, this powertrain achieves a payload capacity of 100 kg, 
up to 140 km per hour and a 100 km range. In 2024, Kawasaki introduced the enhanced version of the K Racer, the K Racer X2, which features larger rotors for improved lift, increasing the payload capacity to 200 kg. One of these features is a fully integrated robotic arm that aids automated loading and unloading allowing for greater independence from ground crew support. The ARMS navigation system makes route optimizations based on real-time weather updates while avoiding obstacles, although current models are barely supervised. A goal of future iterations of the model is full autonomy, where takeoff and cargo delivery will be completely managed by AI. Hyundai is working with Uber, along with other automakers, to advance the electric air taxi concept as a way to tackle air congestion in cities. These vehicles are powered by electricity and have the ability to take off and land vertically, enabling them to avoid road traffic entirely. Hyundai recently developed a prototype that incorporates a hexagonal body with six swiveling propeller engines. These rotors permit vertical takeoff before turning horizontally to propel the craft forward, allowing it to reach speeds of 300 kilometers per hour at a height of 600 meters. It has a maximum capacity of five passengers and a pilot and is estimated to travel 100 kilometers on a single charge, more than enough to cover many inner city trips, including from the Gangnam district to Incheon airport. Engineers from Hyundai have ensured safety with extra battery power, obstacle detection systems, and an emergency parachute that can be used when driven power outages. By using lithium sulfur batteries encased in a lightweight composite frame, Hyundai was able to shed an additional 30% of weight from previous models, further increasing its efficiency. Chinese manufacturer BYD have taken electric vehicle performance to new heights with the Yangwang U9 hypercar, which has the astounding ability to jump. In a recent showcase, the U9 propelled itself to 120 km per hour before leaping over a 2.5 meter long water ditch then proceeded to clear four-meter-long sections filled with spikes and paint. This jaw-dropping skill derives from its smart, active pneumatic suspension that allows independent control of height and stiffness of each individual wheel. With four electric motors that produce a staggering 1,300 horsepower, the U9 is capable of accelerating from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.36 seconds and achieving speeds of 300 km per hour. It also has a range of 465 km, thanks to the 80 kilowatt hour battery that balances practicality with performance. The car has also demonstrated autonomous driving and, as shown in the demonstration, performed jumps autonomously. It retails for $236,000, appealing to luxury sports car enthusiasts and tech-savvy consumers. With BYD only set to produce 500 units a year, the U9 will be a rare commodity. Though the jumping ability itself is more of a gag, it certainly showcases the engineering capabilities of BYD and their efforts towards innovation. Thanks for watching. Your time and support mean the world to us. We hope you enjoyed this journey as much as we enjoyed creating it for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay connected with our latest content. Until next time, take care and keep exploring the things that inspire you most.